a new Senate bill could change the lives of the deaf community. I had the pleasure of delving into how cochlear implant coverage could have an impact. A turn signal is an ordinary sound to most, but for 73-year-old Melanie O'Rourke, this was one of the first sounds she recognized after receiving a cochlear implant. People say losing your hearing is going, you're going through a grief process, and uh, I did. I was um, depressed. O'Rourke lost her hearing due to meningitis 20 years ago. One of the biggest things that was on my mind was that this impacted my profession. Only 53.3% of deaf people ages 25 to 64 were employed in 2017, compared to 75.8% of hearing people, an employment gap of 22.5%, according to the National Deaf Center. And without insurance, a cochlear implant can cost between $30,000 and $50,000. I mean, these folks, many of them are very well educated, have had a successful career in whatever career field that they've chosen, and all of a sudden find themselves unable to work. Senate Bill 1017, introduced by Senator Shoup, would make cochlear implants eligible for coverage through Arizona's health care cost containment system for anyone over 21. Arizona is one of probably eight or nine states that doesn't cover cochlear implants in adults. And, and so adults don't have access um, if they're being covered by Medicaid. A cochlear implant helps those with severe hearing loss by bypassing the damaged portion of the ear and delivering sound signals to the hearing nerve. We undervalue hearing very often. You know, we, th we think it's not that important, um, um, but it, it is such an integral part of who we are and the way we live. Both the Democratic and Republican parties in the Senate voted to pass the bill last week. After the cochlear implant surgery, O'Rourke was able to work again and began volunteering with Cochlear Americas. She's now the president of the West Valley chapter of the Hearing Loss Association of America.